Hixai has released the Hololight Cruiser in Bounty, the next Conqueror hull. Hey everyone, Derby here, and welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. Before I jump into this, I just want to say that this PvP video is just that, a PvP video. It's not a lie in secret, and if you don't like me sharing these videos, just don't watch. Also, it's not necessarily the best build out there maximizing for everything. Alliances will come up with their own things, and we'll all fine-tune and eventually arrive at the same one. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. So this cruiser is interesting, I'm going to call it a cruiser because I can, in that we are still in the transition between deflection and defense. Eventually, maybe with the next tier, we'll see that deflection will not exist in PvP, and we will just have defense on everything, which should be interesting. In the meantime, there are a few interesting things we're going to note in this transition, especially around the armors and how it might not be worth to use them in any case. With that said, this hull is a pretty interesting hull with a supercharged and radioactive theme to it, no real interesting special abilities, and it does pair pretty nicely with the Helma. This hull tends to be a little bit longer range and can sit back and kill things, while your Helmas can be a little bit more tanky. In terms of the weapons, really the only choice is the one that came with the ship, the Felglow Launcher. This thing does have a pretty solid range of 95, which theoretically could be increased with the scope, although I'm not intending to do that. Now, what you'll notice is that this has a max launcher stacks of 400, which means that after 400 stacks, you are going to build up a shockwave, which does 50 million damage, which seems like a lot initially until you start taking away all the deflection and the defense now is what you have to consider, so just keep that in mind there. Now, let's go on here, and you're just going to want to throw this on all four of your regular weapon slots. In terms of the heavy weapon, which, congratulations, you unlocked with unlocked this with the hole, there is nothing you have to do to receive this. Everyone has this for free already. Now, this is a heavy launcher, which should be interesting, and it does just do regular damage, no supercharge, nothing really to worry about by that, and is not really used in the AI targeting or the driving, so that should be interesting. Also notice that this thing bypasses 100% deflection, which we'll start to see on every single Conqueror weapon from here on out. And this is at 140 range here, minimum uh, arc range of 2. Now, those are your weapons, and your specials actually tend to be a little bit different than your standard Conqueror specials, because we're not going to need to do things to maximize damage on every single ability. Now is also a good time to mention that in Bounty next week, we are expecting a new Conquest Battery and another special of some sort of name. That might be a Defender Special, might be an Attacker Special, whatever it is, I will update the builds here I'm going to post for the ship, and by the way, the video I'm going to post coming up shortly after will be a Defender video. So all of you saying, where are the Defender videos? That's coming right up. In any case, for these specials as we have them right now, you're going to want to use the Radioactive Engine. If you don't have enough, they are generally in pillage, or you can pull some off your Defender holes, your Fire Breathers, if you so choose to do that. The second special slot is going to, of course, be the Invasion Scanner 3. This is extremely powerful and is very, very needed. It really helps out here. It over doubles your building damage, and that's before you even take into account just almost doubling your damage against just regular ships and other items like that there. Very, very powerful special and also gives you plus 50% tactical field resistance. You want to use this one. Special slot number three is going to be something just to boost your radioactive damage. Just be careful you don't use the wrong one that looks very similar to this one because that could happen. You're going to want to use Radioactive Ignition, which is limited to Conquerors and Defenders, and not the Viscosity Regulator right next to it. Throw that on there and do a ton of Radioactive Damage is the whole idea behind that. Radioactive Ignition is a must special on this hole. Next up, we're going to pivot over to Supercharge, which is an interesting special. What Supercharge does is that every time you hit, so this particular one, Insulated Charge Capacitator, has a capacitor, has a supercharge of 5. That means if one of your shockwave, one of your projectiles hits, it now builds that shockwave 5 times quicker and builds a stack of 5 instead of a stack of 1. So you build the shockwave 5 times as fast if you run this one. This is one option for this particular slot. It gives you combat speed, which is nice, and radioactive reload. Radioactive reload actually does benefit this. You are getting pretty close to the plus 0.2 minimum reload time on these guys, but it still does help as long as you don't do something ridiculous and put some massive radioactive reload special on here. 
you have that option of going for the plus or the times five supercharge, or you can go for a special of a higher tier, which is a times eight supercharge. This will be a little bit faster and will give you some shockwave damage, but will not really help with your raw damage as much because it doesn't help the reload. Personally, I think I'm going to go for the radioactive reload option here. Even though the supercharge is worse, you are reloading and shooting almost twice as fast, with which I think is probably worth it in the long run. Two options there, pick what you like more. Do you want more supercharge and a bigger punch every time you get a shockwave, or do you want to build the shockwave a little bit more quickly? That's the one I'm going to go for there. The next one we're going to use here is going to be sort of another damage special, and the options you have here, it's going to be a battery of sorts. We are expecting, again, a new Conquest battery. For right now, Siege Battery 4 gives you plus 93% building damage compared to the Conquest battery, which only gives you plus 80%. Although the Conquest battery does give you some other helpful things like combat speed and turn speed, you could use that instead if you wanted. Although I think Siege Battery 4 is better for more pure damage. Again, this might change if we get a new battery in, uh, in the bounty coming up next week here. So those are sort of the key specials you're going to want to use. This last one, you do have just a little bit of wiggle room for this. You could go for a few things. You could do an Agility Scanner 4 and Agility System 4, which gives you stun and slow resistance, which are helpful in PvP. That is one option for you, although tactical fields are the main thing you're going to be dealing with, and you already have your Invasion Scanner 3, which does that. You could also go for a charged plasma array, which will give you a thrower reload or radioactive reload and thrower damage, which does look to be pretty powerful here. You are getting pretty close, especially with this to the 0.2 minimum reload. You're still over it, so no need to worry about that for now. But that is one option there of going with the charged plasma array is, again, a pretty decent special that you could use on this if you wanted to. Now, there's a few other options you could bounce around and decide if you wanted to use something or not use something. You could even, you know, try and do a little bit more damage of sorts. Again, you do have some choices with this, and it is not necessarily the best special in 100% of the cases, but the reload does make it pretty helpful. The negatives with this ship right now is that the evade is only 21%, which you kind of need above 75 before it really starts to matter in today's game, with the particular combination of turrets that we have out there and defender holes. A lot of things is splash-based, so evade doesn't make the most sense. In terms of armor, we're again, a really, really interesting spot right now in the combination between defense and deflection, all the new sort of uh, turrets and ships that we have right now are going to completely bypass your deflection completely, so it doesn't really matter to put on anything that has deflection because it's just going to get bypassed. So any of these new armors you could put on here, you know, the C11 gives you 500, half a million ballistic deflection. That won't really matter because it's just going to get turned into zero by all of the weapons, which is a little bit sloppy of kick in terms of a transition. Again, I'm not really sure how they could do that better. It will give you some armor points and get you up from 700 million, seems like we need another refractor, refactor soon, to 7.5. That is one option there, just throw on any two of those armors you have, uh, you could do that. Now what you can do instead is put on something that will actually help you in the battle, something for combat speed, which is a D5 EV, 7%, as well as evade, which can tangentially matter in a few cases, or of course the limited conqueror version of that, which gives you a little bit more, although again the EV10 is limited. So 7% combat speed, 14% evade, against the D5 EV, which has repair time, but gives you a pretty equivalent stat. So just for completeness sake, I will throw on these EV10 armors, although they don't really matter too much since I'm at a very low evade anyway. If you did switch out the charged plasma array for agility system 4, they could start to make some difference and you could actually be talking some numbers, but I'm looking for a hole that does a little bit more damage, and it's okay if it gets killed by the accuracy-based things a little bit more quickly because most things seem to be splash-based, especially in terms of the defenders. So there's my idea on the build for the Hololite Cruiser. I'm curious what you think, if you would change anything, what you're doing differently. Now, of course, you could just comment, oh, Derpy, your build sucks, my alliance has a much better one. In which case, I say, okay, cool, use that. I'm just here to share with the people something that works pretty well. Well, actually, not having had the opportunity to test this myself, I'm still building my third blank. I like to get them all done here before I start using them one by one. I will have these equipped relatively soon and hopefully making a few videos in bounty with that. 
So there's the build I have. I would like to also mention that you can go check my uh, YouTube channel in my video descriptions of all my videos out there is a link to a Derpy the Cow Builds document. I will have that posted in here actually even before this video goes live. If you do have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to get back to you. With that said, I want to give a huge thank you to those, those channel members whose names appear on screen now. And until next time, this is going to be Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.